described this layer. Acute high drops is not due to break in the Desmets membrane alone, but it is due to a break in the Desmets membrane and the pre Desmets layer. And that is what we have postulated then on what little we knew, but now there is evidence coming through. So here you can see uh, acute high drops occurring in a cornea graft that was done in a keratoconus patient. I showed you the, uh, a picture of this patient earlier, and you've got a type one detachment in this patient. And going through the different sections, you can see. Now, based on this, uh, Professor Miran from France actually published a paper in the BJO uh, uh, quite a while ago, it was 2015. He said that if Dewar's layer exists, then he can actually suture the broken ends. So if these are the broken ends of the pre desmets layer, you can suture them together, leaving the desmets membrane behind. The torn desmets membrane is not approximated. If you just approximate the pre desmets layer by mattress sutures, as you see over here, you can increase the rate of resolution of the corneal edema, that is of the acute high drops, uh, very quickly in about, uh, you know, um, a, a week or two instead of the months it normally takes. So he, he said that acute corneal high drops could be due to tear in Dewar's layer. As a consequence, pre dismissed sutures should reattach the Dewar's layer. So that is the hypothesis he was testing. And he said that the fact that the pre dismissed sutures can be effective to resolve uh, acute high drops is evidence that this layer exists. And he found a 40% reduction of edema uh, on day one and approximately 60% by day 15 by giving these sutures. Now at that time, Mellis and I had some discussion and Mellis sort of passingly remarked that the layer, you know, he's not sure if the layer exists. But this is what Jared Mellis was doing. He was doing Bowman's membrane transplant for a keratoconus patients. And when he was doing Bowman's membrane transplant for keratoconus patients, he found in some of the patients, you have Desmet's membrane detachment, as you see in the top, and that Desmet's membrane detachment settled, but you never got acute hydrops. But if by accident coming from the top to create the pocket for the uh, insertion of the Bowman's membrane, if he slipped in and it's a thin cornea and it tore from the front behind and it tore the pre desmet layer, all of those patients got acute high drops. So this was not spontaneous. This was iatrogenic rupture of the pre desmet layer in patients with advanced keratoconus during Bowman's membrane transplant, and they got uh, acute high drops. And they published the paper and said this is clear evidence that the pre desmet layer, so they acknowledge that pre desmet layer has to be torn to create acute high drops. Desmet membrane detachment alone does not cause acute high drops in patients with keratoconus. So they did very kindly refer to our first paper in ophthalmology saying that this is what we had postulated and this is what they had actually been able to show happens. Then uh, we read the paper, which was quite interesting, but having first postulated that, what I had done was I had actually taken eye bank eyes and I had incised the endothelium and desmes, mounted these corneas on artificial anterior chamber and had pushed the pressure up with a syringe in the artificial anterior chamber and I didn't get acute high drops. So we then concluded that it is not just the tear in desmes membrane and the pre desmes layer, but you also need the abnormal collagen of the keratoconus corneas. And when all three things happen, are present together, then you get acute high drops. So we wrote a letter back saying that it is not just the, the tear in the desmes and pre desmes layer as they have said and as we agree, but we need, we need a, 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 the abnormal collagen of the uh, keratoconus cornea. So then they replied to our letter, and this is all published in the AJO, where he's, they replied, we are gratified to see that a recent article has generated so much interest, particularly from some of the foremost thinkers in the field of posterior cornea. And we thoroughly agree with the primary point of the letter, namely acute high drops in keratoconus was a result of a tear in both desmes membrane and pre desmes layer in the background of abnormal collagen of corneal stroma in keratoconus. 
And as we learn more about this abnormal collagen structure, it is hoped that more and better treatment options for keratoconus will present themselves. So we are in concordance with regard to the fact that this layer has to tear to give you acute high drops. So that was a very interesting development, uh, a, a hypothesis which now has been proven by an experiment in humans, which happened by accident. So that was the, the uh, second, uh, the third part. And quickly what I'll do is I'll finish the last part and then we will take Q&A because it's all related. Now, if you look at, and this again, I'd like to acknowledge, as you can see, um, uh, the, the authors over there, again, this connection with Egypt, uh, Dr. Said, uh, Dr.